and I'm going to try to show uh, polynomial functions. of a higher degree, a higher degree. You know what I mean. So polynomials typically look like this. We have a, if there's a sub, and then x with the exponent. We, and obviously there's more, but we really pay attention to this a and this exponent here. So if, a is greater than zero and n, this exponent n, is an even number, then p will go up to the far left and up to the far right. And that will typically look like this. And we already have an x, uh, x exponent of 1. So we have 1, 2, 3 turns. And our exponent in here is even. So it would be a positive a with an x uh, exponent of 4. If a is still greater than zero, but n is an odd number, then p will go down to the far left and up, sorry, to the far right. I'm trying to record this the best that I can. I'm sorry if it's not perfect. Um, so that would look something like this. Oops. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four turns. Exponent of one. So when in our n exponent here is odd, so it would be a positive a since a is greater than zero and our x exponent would be five if a is less than zero but n is an even number then p would go down to the far left and down to the far right, which would look opposite of this one. So it would look like this. And we have an exponent of one, so one, two, three turns. We would have an ignore my cat he just made a mess um, we would have a negative a since it is less than zero but our x would have an even exponent of four lastly if a is still less than zero but n is an odd number then P would go up far left down far right which would look the opposite of this one so it would be up far left down far right one, two, three, four turns. We would have a negative a since it's less than zero. And our exponent is odd, so it would be five. 
So if we did an example, and we had a polynomial that looked like this. And there's obviously more to the polynomial. There's uh, no. okay. There we go. But we really don't pay attention to a lot of this. We pay attention to this and this. So since three is greater than zero, we would have a graph that would go, let's see, three is greater than zero, but our exponent is a five, so it's odd. So it would go down to the left and up to the far right. So it would look something like this. Four turns. So we had three, which is a positive, x, five, which is odd. And that's how we kind of look at graphs for polynomials. This helped me a lot. I, this unit was a lot more of a struggle than the previous units, but her explaining this part uh, really helped me see what polynomials of a higher function look like on a graph. So I hope this helps other people and good luck to everyone else.